This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now that we've taken the time to introduce you to AutoCAD's interface, you need to know how to work within AutoCAD. One of the most basic yet essential operations in AutoCAD is to start a file. You can't do anything without the right drawing. There are two methods to take here. One is to start a file that is brand new. The other is to open an existing file. Let's start with what might be the easier of the two, and that's to open an existing file. In fact, it's so easy, you've already done it. AutoCAD has several ways to start a command. You can use the ribbon, the command line, toolbar, or the application menu. Opening a file is no different. You can go to the application menu, the big red A, up here in the top left hand of the screen, click it, then go to open. You can open a drawing from you know, a hard drive or a network drive. You can open one from the cloud, which is in your Autodesk 360 account. You can open a sheet set, a DGN file type, or one of the sample files that Autodesk provides. You can also go to the Quick Access Toolbar and click on this folder icon, which is for the open command. Or you can just type open on the command line and press enter. All of these methods will bring you to this same interface window. You have other files or folders in which you can go to to look. You can click on the arrow here and browse to a specific folder. You can go backwards, you can go up, you can create a new folder, etc. So you can do a lot while you're opening a file. You can control the file type of what you're looking for. These are just different file types that AutoCAD can understand. The one you're going to use 90% of the time will be the DWG file. Here's a file here that I've already made and put into our project folder. I'm going to open it. So you just browse to the file and then click open. And that will open up the file that you want to access. See, very simple. You can also go to your Windows Explorer and double click on a file there and it will automatically open up in AutoCAD. For example, if I browse to a folder, I can find it right here, and if I double click it, it will open up in AutoCAD. Or you can right click and select open. I already have this file open, so it's going to give me a hard time. But that's another method that you can use. If AutoCAD is closed and you do that, it will automatically start AutoCAD and then open the file. So you can do a couple of steps with just a few clicks if you'd like. You can also open a file through the application menu by coming to your recent files list here. Just find the file you want and click it and it will open it up wherever it's located. Either method that you pick to open a file will have the same results. So go ahead and give it a try and I'll be here waiting for you and then we can go on and show you how to start a brand new file. Okay, now that our file is open, we want to start a new file. You know, if you're working on a new project or you need a new file for your current project, this is what you'll do. So don't worry, it's really just as easy. Only this time you have a few choices to make. When you turn AutoCAD on, it opens up a brand new blank file based on the default template file. If that's okay with you, then your job is done. You save the file as needed and start drawing. Because of this, Many companies will make their default template file as their company template file, or vice versa. Right now, we just want to learn the basics of using AutoCAD, so we won't bother you with how to set all that up. But the default template file is good enough for right now, and will serve the majority of the needs for us in this training session. So if you have a template file that you want to use, and AutoCAD comes with several if you don't, then you can just choose which one of those files to use. To start a new file, go to the Application menu, click it, and go to the New option. If you just click New right here, it will start a new AutoCAD file. Or you can go and make a new drawing, or you can make a new sheet set. Sheet sets are really cool and very powerful. It's a system built within AutoCAD to help you manage all of your drawings for a project. We're not going to talk about that right now. Right now, we just need to know how to make a file. So just click on the drawing. Now you can also go up to the Quick Access Toolbar and click on the new icon. This will bring up the same thing. Or, again, you can type in the word new, N-E-W, on the command line. 
Now this brings up your select template windows interface. There are a lot of different template files here. The default is the acad.dwt. Now if you want to work in some 3D, you probably want to choose this one. It has other settings that are preset that you will typically want to use while working in 3D. Now these other two up here have plot styles or printing settings that are already set up for you. And these other ones, ACAD ISO and ACAD ISO 3D, are set up to work with an ISO style type of a drawing. A lot of settings that you need to do or need to create your drawing with are already preset for those. So if you're using ISO standards, you may want to try out one of these template files. And again, you have the 2D or the 3D, and you have them with or without plot styles. These last four details here are used with the tutorials that come with AutoCAD. These are architectural and manufacturing or mechanical drawing types. They also come in imperial units or in metric units. So the imperial are set to like feet or inches and the metric are typically a millimeter, centimeter, meter type setting. For the majority of things that we're going to do, we're going to use the acad.dwt template file. Select it so that it's highlighted, click open. And that's it. You know, that's a lot of talking for that. When you're going to go and start it, go new, and then pick the DWT file, and then it will open it up. It gives it a temporary name. I've already had a drawing one.dwg started, so it adds onto the list. So if I were to do new again, it would call it drawing three. And it won't matter which one of these I select, it's going to do the same thing. Now you can also double click on the file that you want to use to start it instead of selecting it and going down to the open option. Either one's fine. I tend to double click it because I'm lazy and don't want to move my mouse when I don't have to. Template files have a different format than regular AutoCAD files. You can tell them apart by their file extensions. So you probably noticed that. A regular AutoCAD file has a DWG file extension while a template file has a DWT. In all honesty, you could use a regular DWG file as your template if you wanted to. Just open it as you would any existing file and have at it. The danger with doing that, though, is that when you save the file, any changes made, well, they'll be saved to your template. And so the next time you go to start a new file, you may have project-specific information in there, or maybe there's something missing that you deleted because for your drawing file, you didn't need it. So try not to do that. Make sure that if you are using a DWG file, you first copy it and put it into your proper folder, or when you open it, perform a save as immediately. And that way you're not working in that template file. That's the nice thing about DWT files. As long as you open a DWT file with a new command, you can't override the template file. So my suggestion is to use a good CAD practice of always using the new command. Press enter, find the template you want, open it up, and now I can't save this file. I know that sounds kind of scary, like what do you mean you can't save your file? Well, if I go ahead and click save, or type in the word save, AutoCAD won't let me. It just says, hey, where do you want to save it, and what do you want to call this file? It will use the default name that it gives it when you start it, or I can replace that. But I have to save it somewhere else. I'm not going to override my template file, and that's exactly what I want. Your template file needs to stay untouched, you know, and not messed up. You can save the template file, though, if you want to make one. And to do that, you would use the open command and switch your file types from DWG to DWT. And now you're going to open the file. See at the top it says acad.dwt. Now I can add things to my template file so that they will always be there. And if I hit save, it will save the file. So be careful doing this. Don't use the open command to start a new file use the new command. Just keep that in mind. Using template files to start your drawing is one of the best CAD practices that you will ever have. That is because you can set up the template file with plotter settings, layers, blocks, little details that you're going to use all the time. Otherwise, you're going to have to customize your drawings every time that you make a new one. But this process of using a template file will ensure that all of your drawings work properly and you only have to set them up once. It's very possible and very likely that you're going to have a picky client and they want things just so. 
well, you can set up a template file that you will use for all of their drawings. And that will save you time, effort, and work. And remember, a template file can have anything in it that you might want, you know, special notes, a title block, or any other standard company you know, like sticker or logo. Templates make you work faster by doing your work for you ahead of time. Remember that the less you have to do, the more you can get done in less time.